Welcome to our daughter's nursery. Let's start with the closet, shall we? We decided to remove the closet doors first off because it made the room feel so much larger. I am partial to a very boutique style closet and so having no doors really works for our lifestyle. I just like to keep things as organized as I can and I don't have a place to like shove things away. So I have to keep it organized. I am so much more likely to actually wear things and wear them on a regular basis if I can see them. So I was hoping to kind of do that with Goldie's clothes as well. Anything that could be hung up has been hung up. Anything that is like a pajama or like a romper or things like that, those are all in the drawers on the other side of the room, but we'll get to that later. I have everything categorized into her different sizes and I use these cute little hang tags to do so. I found these on Etsy, they're very handy. So pretty much what I've done is anything that we've already gone through and used, so like her zero to three month stuff, that's already been packed away. Her three to six month stuff I've put in the far side because we're starting to phase this stuff out. And then spring, summer is all through here. And oh my gosh, I know I have a problem, I get it. We don't need to talk about that right now, that's for a later video. But right now, can we just marvel at how freaking cute some of these things are? Like, oh my goodness, summer is gonna be really cute. I also have some clothes that are like larger and things that don't fit her yet, just kind of in the back corner here. This is something that I've seriously had for years. <laughs> this is a little Wookiee suit from The Gap. Great stuff, but uh, I've had this at least two years before having the baby. This is a piece that I really preemptively bought. Okay, she's gonna be very old when she wears this, but how could I not? It was the sweetest little pink fur coat and I love it. And for now it is living just in the very back of her closet along with a couple of other little things that I found along the way. We decided to keep with the open concept theme and we went with this wooden storage unit in the closet. This is gonna be so perfect as Goldie gets older, she can use it for toys or whatever. Uh, but for right now, we have a couple of really cute Ikea baskets in it and that is for her hats and beanies uh, and extra clothes in here. We also have some shoes down here. We have some extra snoo suits and stuff and then just extra bibs and placemats and just whatever else, like a catch-all of stuff down there and then just some books on the bottom. I like to keep her diaper bag just down in the bottom corner. Usually this up here is just kind of a catch-all. I end up putting like totes or just different things up there out of the way if I don't have a space for them yet in here. Over in the corner, I have like things like a portable crib and like a portable high chair. I just store right back here. This piece of art is something special to Glenn and I. This was the first expensive piece of art that I had ever purchased. I love it so much and I ended up getting this actually as a this way tattoo on my arm. So this was hung in our very first home together and it has traveled through at least, what, three or four other houses now that it has landed in the nursery. So it's a really nice full circle moment having this in our baby's room. Okay, so by and far, this is our most used area in the entire nursery because we spend a lot of time feeding in this chair. My gosh, if you are putting together a nursery, one of my biggest tips would be is to actually spend on your chair because you are just going to live here for the foreseeable future. I was spending so many hours a day for the first few months breastfeeding in this chair. This is from Monty Designs and it is their Grano recliner. It is heaven. Oh yeah. You can lean back, you can rock, it glides. It's just the best. I was a little bit nervous going with the lighter toned, but we found it actually was perfect because what color is spit up, it blends in <laughs> really well. Milk does not seem to stain this and I have gotten a lot of milk all over this chair. So the fabric has held up really well. It is beautiful and it is easily our most used piece of furniture in this entire house. This is typically what my setup looks like. I love having this little nook of everything that I could ever need in one place. I had the idea to do a breastfeeding cart because of an Instagram account that I follow. Her name is Carrie. I will link her down below as well. She has a lot of really great postpartum stuff. But one of her ideas was to do like this nursing cart that you can drag around the house. 
to be honest, I really haven't taken it out of this room very much. I just kind of keep it right beside the chair, but I have everything from like burp rags to breast pads to a haka. Everything is just like right within reach. I might do a separate video on like everything that I stocked this with, but pretty much anything that you might need in the moment, I got right here. Even stuff like I have a couple of like little motherhood books and things that I can read while feeding her in here. Also, hot tip, put some dog treats in your breastfeeding cart so that when you're breastfeeding, you can also care for your firstborn love. Uh, that has really saved me a time or two when my dog wanted to play and I just could not. I gave her a treat instead. So anyway, this is my station. <laughs> highly recommend having a water bottle that is designated for your nursing area. Just do not move it. It lives here other than when you clean it, but like it lives here. It is always full. I always have water. Uh, I also have my AirPods just sitting in a little thing over here so that when I'm feeding and I don't want to disturb my baby, I can just pop those in. And then we have our salt lamps. We have two salt lamps in this room, one of them being here. Obviously you can turn it off just at the base, but we also have these on smart plugs. Such a great idea. You can toggle them on or off using your phone and it's perfect for when you have the baby in your arms. You can literally just turn it on so that when you enter the room, the lights are already on. So handy. Also really love that we put the bookshelf here because I can just grab a book so very easily. The favorite book of the moment is That's Not My Bunny. The touch and feel book and Goldie is really into smashing her little fingers all over this book. <laughs> Down this little play area we have a basket full of toys. This was another Ikea find that was very handy. We have some blocks, we have her bookshelf that I briefly touched upon earlier. I love that we chose to go with an acrylic bookshelf. It's just so nice and like minimal distraction to just have it be very open. And we also chose to do it underneath the window so that everything was super accessible for Goldie when she gets a little bit older. I've seen many nurseries with like books high up and I just think like, what's the point in having things out of reach? It is so nice to be able to have her like point and look at what she wants so that she can be more involved. So we really loved this little area. I haven't talked at all about the artwork, but let's move on to that because that is the best part about this nursery in my opinion. The piece de resistance in this room is this beautiful mural. This was done by Jolene Mackey. She is a local artist. It just seemed like such a natural ask. Basically, I have had a Pinterest board running for years about ideas of how to make like an enchanted forest slash Alice in Wonderland feeling kind of space. And I photoshopped together what I kind of thought would look neat. And Jolene took that and just like went above and beyond making it into the most beautiful concept. My biggest request was for us to feel small in this room and to just really feel like you were in like an Alice in Wonderland-esque landscape of just mushrooms and plants. Uh, plants with that said, we do have a couple of house plants in here and they will eventually be moved. Like. I'm gonna be realistic. I have, if you are new to this channel, I have like a hundred house plants out in the house. There's many a plant in this home, but with a baby, obviously it's probably gonna be a no-go very soon. So we're enjoying having plants in here in the meantime, but I'm pretty sure we will end up moving some of these guys out once Goldie gets a little bit older. The crib that we went with is from Baby Leto. This is, I think their Hudson crib. I absolutely love its mid-century modern kind of feel, but with this lighter tone wood. My husband said I can't show you the rug like this, but I think this is the best way to show you the rug. This rug was from Society Six. I kept thinking like, what am I gonna do in this space? I originally was thinking like checkerboard or just something that was like fun and different. And then I realized when we started doing the artwork with Jolene that she was gonna do some type of background with the mushrooms. And I thought, what if I can try and like match the color? So it perfectly matches. Like it looks so sick. Let me get out of the way so that you can do a pan up and just see, it looks like the floor in the mushroom scape just kind of continue into one. Absolutely love it. You can wash these rugs, but they do get a little bit worn. I'm not gonna lie, there has been a couple of poop explosions over the past couple of months, but it works really well and it wasn't too expensive. I really think it pulls the space together. 
huge fan of this brand of crib sheets. They are so adorable. This is from Rookie Humans and you can find them on Indigo, but they have a lot of really cute woodland style crib sheets. I also have Goldie's Cuddle and Kind dolls just along the back corner here. They don't usually live in her crib, but for the purposes of the video, I have her little dollies sitting over there. And then up here, I have a custom mobile that I had made on Etsy by a felter. And she had such cute work, I knew that I had to bring it into this space. Absolutely love the little mushrooms. I feel like it just finishes off the space so well. We have my old, is this the Malum dresser from Ikea? I've owned this for years. Like this has gone through so many different stages of like bedroom, beauty room, and now nursery. I swapped the handles for these cute little gold ones. I felt like it just kind of matched the room a bit better. Uh, and this is our whole like change station. On top, we have the Kikaru peanut changer. This is so handy. I cannot explain how much better this is than having like a Moses basket or something. The first couple of weeks of having a newborn, we had like one of those cute little like wicker baskets. It was adorable. And then she peed and pooped all over it and we're like, oh my God, we can't keep up with the amount of laundry that we had to do just for that one piece. Get something that's wipeable, you will not regret it. Above the Kikaru peanut changer, we have this awesome spiral mobile thing from Love Every. Huge fan of the Love Every packs and like all of their stuff really. They just are really well thought out. But this is awesome. It is like a black and white spiral. She looks up at it and we spin it and she just thinks it's the coolest thing in the world. I have her little top hat potty. We've been practicing EC or elimination communication. And so this is her little potty. We keep it right here. We have our wipes dispenser right here. It is a nice luxury to have a warm wipe hit your butt rather than a cold one. Uh, we have a large mirror just above. It is really cute watching Goldie watch herself in the mirror. These little shelves are a cute touch. On the far side of the table, we have our larger salt lamp. As I said, this room, we have two of them. They're the perfect amount of light for a nursery. I'm so glad we went with a salt lamp option. Uh, and we also have a little white noise machine. They are so handy with babies. We have an ubby pail right on the end here. Behind that, we have a humidifier. And I'm gonna say this humidifier is my favorite ever. And that's why I'm gonna show you. I know this is probably very weird, but this is a great humidifier and you should totally buy it. It is so easy to fill and clean. And that brings us back to the start. We just have a full length mirror on this wall. And the only other thing is a bunch of hooks where we can store some of our baby carriers. So that is the nursery. I hope you guys love it as much as we do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget I'm leaving all of the relevant links in the info box down below for you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and see you soon.